Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a Whoopi speaking. We go now for the part six of uh, my understanding of all this stuff. And uh, this is always not a PMH model, but uh, it can show what we are looking for, perhaps, or perhaps for me. Okay, as I have made a part five that I didn't uh, make in public, but was very interesting, I will probably. Uh, uh, add this uh, part 5 to my uh, video but I wanted to explain to somebody that shows on on YouTube uh, some problem with perhaps the scope and uh, the precision of the scope to to get uh, the right uh, result so okay now first what I have to do tonight is I didn't connect this coil it is a motor coil but I connect this one, it's exactly the same coil, but it is not under the effect of the magnetic field. Alright, this is connected here to the bipolar circuits. Alright, now what I want to show you, if I put the power at 8 volt, and we go to the scope, and I make turn the rotor, what happened? You see? The radiant spikes are there. Very strong. And there is absolutely no uh, generation, of course, as I know, might be filled. Okay, now I cut the current and let me some second to change here I will put now the current to the motor coil to go on the experience okay it is made now so now I have connected here be careful no shortcut okay the motor coil to the bipolar switch Okay, and now I put on the power, 8 volt, about, yeah, and now we go to the, okay, what we see now, speed up and the right inside get out, what would say by a rave 154, this press my scope could be too, not so sensitive, but I can spread no more spike, no more spike. I come down now, and as I slow down here, you see the spike is coming, and the energizing counter EF disappear, and I let go the speed up. I increase. Larger, I break, and you see more spike. Speed goes up, so I don't think it is a scope problem. I think it is really a speed problem. But now I want to test another style. Okay, I cut the power now, and I go to this experience on the same circuits. And we put this capacitor in the circuits. So I have to do it right. Okay, okay, it is done. The capacitor inside. And I put this capacitor now no more on the scope, but on the voltmeter. It has now 5 volt this capacitor. Okay, so I put the power on. 8 volt, the speed goes up. And what happened? The capital charge. It charges 40 volt, 42, 42, 42, 41. The speed is going up and the capacitor doesn't charge more than 30. I don't know how. It is going down. And now look at this. I will break the rotor. 
break the rotor and break the rotor and what happened? The capacitor charged much more. Very slow the rotor now. And breaking the rotor. Very slow. And already 80 volt. And it goes up. And up. And up. And up. And up. Yahoo! 100 volts easily. And much more if I continue. And now I let the rotors go up. Speed up. You hear it? You know? Always higher. And it goes down. I think it is uh, surely a good idea of what happened between the back EMF and the radiant spike. I hope it helps. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.